Hey guys, it's Ricky. Welcome back to Getting Sticky with Ricky. Thanks for tuning in to this week's cooking video. If you caught my tip video earlier in the week, you saw that I was breaking down a whole chicken uh, in preparation for this week's video. We're actually going to be making a chicken pot pie, making it a jerk chicken pot pie. In traditional jerk fashion, which come from the Caribbean and Jamaica, you, they usually cook their meats over a open flame. Cook, that is jerk style cooking. I am going to be taking some traditional jerk spices, marinating it for half an hour so the chicken sucks the spices. So it's not traditional jerk chicken, but it's a jerk marinade. I'm gonna show you actually how we're gonna make the marinade here first. Get yourself a food processor. I got myself a Ninja. I love my Ninja. She's great. All my cooking equipment is women. I don't know why. Gay man. Gay man who doesn't love women um, names everything women or gives everything a sex of women. I don't get it, I don't know. We're gonna start off with a half a cup of white vinegar and a half a cup of lime juice. I'm gonna pour that right in there. Next, we're gonna be taking two Scotch Bonet peppers. I know they're not, it's not pronounced Scotch Bonet. I actually think it's a little bit more classy. Um, it's actually pronounced Scotch Bonnet. The worst thing, I'm calling them Scotch Bonet, like Target. They're very hot. Either save them for last, Actually, I would recommend saving them for last on your cutting board uh, and then washing your hands, not once, not twice, but three times. I cut these bad boys, got myself all ready, and then I had to use a restroom. Let's just say I'm burning in places that you really can't see right now. Not fun. Make sure you take the seeds out. I was afraid to self-medicate. I was afraid I might burn my lungs with this stuff inside me. <laughs> One whole red onion, diced up. Two tablespoons of fresh chopped ginger. Two tablespoons of rosemary. One of the most important ingredients in making a jerk marinade is allspice. Four teaspoons of fresh ground allspice. Next, in this bowl, I have two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, four teaspoons of cinnamon, and four teaspoons of nutmeg. We're adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two teaspoons of molasses. All right, one. Oh, look how thick that is. So, I have all my ingredients right in my Ninja. We're gonna give this a quick pulsate. If you ever work with a Ninja before, it's not like a typical food processor. You don't hold it down, you might screw your motor up. Ninjas, you have to like tap it little by little. Okay, so I process my mixture here. It's gonna be chunky, okay? Get yourself a baking dish. Should've done this yesterday. Peel the skin off. Rip your skin off. I'm ripping the wings off too because I'm not using the wing meat. Okay, make sure you pull off all the foreskin. All four skins, I mean. Inappropriate. See how you have this chicken in the baking sheet? Take your jerk marinade over tiny. Mm. Oh my God, this smells amazing. Gonna put this bad boy in the fridge for half an hour. The longer you marinate this, the more flavor your chicken is gonna have. It's been a half an hour. It's actually been 40 minutes. Carefully, you don't wanna get salmonella. We talked about this last week. On Tuesday, if I mentioned salmonella, unless I edited it out of the video, I can't remember. Uh, so what I did was I took the juices and the marinade from the chicken and poured it into a measuring cup. I'm gonna be needing about a cup and a half of chicken marinade uh, for our sauce. Now you can go out and buy chicken stock if you want. I don't suggest it because you might lose some of the Caribbean jerk flavor that we're going for in this Popeye. So I'm just taking the juices that we marinated it in. It's gonna get cooked twice. Uh, you'll see how. I have my La Crusette on the stove. I have that at medium warmed up. I want to get that sucker hot before you add any of your fats to the pan. I've had this on for a minute. I'm gonna add my EVOO. I don't need much more from that one. I have a backup. And take your chicken, grab a tong like that, and cook it face down. Okay, face down first. Now, for this pot pie, I'm using a combination of white meat and dark meat. I'm not racist when it comes to my meat. Yes, if you are picky, you're one of those eaters, majority of my friends are, that are particular about what kind of meat you're putting in your mouth. Just use white meat, you just use dark meat. That's all on you, okay? Uh, I'm gonna save about a tablespoon to add to my stock, and then I'm, I'm at a three, four quarter cup now. I'm just gonna add a cup of water to that. Uh, so, chicken is gonna cook. We're gonna leave it cook for a few minutes here. Then we're gonna flip it, then we're gonna put it in the oven. That's what I love about La Crusette. and go directly from the top of the stove into the oven. Looking at here. Mmm. 
Yo, I wish we had smell o vision so you can smell this. See that I have another La Crusade here. We're gonna use that, lies that later to make our sauce, our creamy filling, all right? So, let's see what this looks like here. Yeah, see how that's nice, white, nice and white over top? We're gonna now flip these bad boys over. Okay. and we're gonna pop that in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. We wanna make sure that our chicken's completely cooked. All right, this bad boy in the oven. There we go. We just jerked our chicken while our chicken is jerking. We're gonna get started on our pot pie filling. I'm gonna be substituting some of the filling uh, that you would find in a traditional pot pie with some Caribbean flair. When you buy jerk chicken from a cart or a stand, um, you usually get served with rice and beans. Uh, so I'm gonna be adding beans to my filling substitute as like the peas because you normally find peas in pot pies. I'm not putting any peas in it. One whole medium red pepper and you know, nice decent chunks. I want to bite in the pot pie. One medium yellow onion, same thing. Cut up like the red pepper. Uh, three medium carrots. A third cup of butter and a third cup of flour. One and three quarter cup of the Jamaican marinade juices that we were talking about. And then I got a half a cup of milk. So I have my second La Crusade pot on the stove getting hot and I'm gonna add my butter. Then I'm gonna add my onions. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, okay? Next, add your red pepper. Give it a nice stir, all right. Next, add your flour. You only coat all that. Add my liquids. Then my carrots. And keep stirring. Getting it thick. Well, this would make a good stew, too, now that I don't think about it. All right, so we got a nice thick base here for our pot pie. All right, look how much that thickened up. It's great. Now, now I'm going to add my can of beans. Give it a nice stir in there. And then I'm just going to reduce this to a low simmer. So. We have our filling working on the stove top. We have our chicken working in the oven. Now we're gonna work on our dough. I wish you could smell my kitchen right now. It smells like cool runnings. Like, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> um, oh, look, a lucky egg. Kiss it if you get the joke. Anyway, um, I didn't plan that actually. That just came right to my head. Another traditional thing with jerk chicken is Jamaica. They make Johnny cakes. Johnny cakes are basically pancakes with like a scallion in it and they use cornmeal. So we're gonna incorporate cornmeal into our pot pie crust. I was gonna do scallions, but I left scallions somewhere at somebody else's house, so they're not here, and I'm not going all the way to the grocery store to do that today. So, you need flour, cornmeal. Finally get to utilize my little orange tea thing. I never thought I'd have a chance for it, so we're using it today. There's water in that. A stick of butter, an egg, some salt. Like any baker will tell you, you always wanna add the dry ingredients first. But we need a cup and a quarter of flour. Now you want to do nice level scoops. Cornmeal, you need three quarters of a cup. Level scoop. You need one teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add one egg yolk. If you don't know how to separate an egg, you can go on one of my very first videos I posted, how to separate eggs. One egg yolk. All right, half a cup of butter. I've cubed it, all right, to make kneading the process easier. Any baker, any ba all bakers basically use their hands to mix. You're gonna be washing them. You're gonna be baking your dough anyway. So, now just take your hands and we're gonna get in there. We're gonna start kneading this, all right? Get both your hands in there. Okay, so once all the butter has been blended or kneaded, we'll say, together with the flour, then we're gonna add our water, okay? So, one, actually, I'm just gonna start off with two for right now. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna empty this all onto the table. 
three, with two. So we're gonna do, let's do one, do two more, get this water here. All right, so that was four. One more, okay. I'm just gonna make a little well here so I don't lose my water all over the table. Let's do, let's do one more for now. That's five. Remember, you can always add, you can never take out. Okay. All right, I don't recommend Walmart at all. Um, you know how these crazy people, was it 2020 or was it 2019 where people were going around licking shit, ice cream and all that crap? They just keep these like out and exposed. The one, the first handle I grabbed gave me a freaking splinter. So I think Walmart's the closest place for me to get a rolling pin. Look how it, huh, it rolls out nicely. All right. So we're gonna roll that out real thin, quarter of an inch thick. All right. Let's see. Make sure I have enough. Put your dish over like that. You wanna make sure you got a nice little even hang over everything. I'm gonna go out a little bit more over here. Pull the chicken out. Should be done. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah, it is. That looks sexy as hell. It doesn't really look sexy as hell. It's brown. It looks like doo-doo is covering the chicken, but it smells sexy as hell. Chicken is really hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully pull it apart myself. You need about two to two and a half cups of chicken. Things a little easier for me. All right. Just because I want the proper measurements. All right, I just want to do everything all willy nilly. This looks amazing. All right. I really wish you can smell this. Like, no joke. Oh, you will when you make it. Because you will make this. I ain't playing with you. All right. We're going to do a shredded chicken pot pie. This way you find any bones that may be in there. You don't want to choke. It's a nice shred of everything. I want, like I said, pull it. It's about two and a half cups. It's probably a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stir this all together to see what the combination of it looks like. Then I'll decide if I want to add more chicken. The solids in here. Um, I definitely have a lot left over for this dish, so I may be making two pot pies. But that's what we're looking at. You see that? Look at that. Smell it. Mmm. Now, if you want to be fancy and do a crust on the bottom and a crust on top, be my guest. I'm not doing all that. If you would wanted to do a crust on the bottom, I recommend baking the crust first in the oven. Um, the bottom, at least. And then adding or filling, and then doing another layer over top, okay? Just pick it up from underneath. Now, oh, this, a well, nice even hang. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pinch this all to the pot, to the pie dish, pinch it around. I'm gonna put it on my stoneware. Mm. Beautifus. Should love my stoneware between Pamper Chef and La Crusette. Right. Middle rack. I am going to add two little slits to the pot pie in the center. Uh, okay, so forgot to mention. I think I said earlier I had my oven set at 350. I actually have my oven set at 425. Put it in there for about 40 minutes. Depending on your oven at home, you may want to check on it intermittently while you're doing it, uh, why it's cooking, because you don't want to burn your crust. And here we go. Look at that steam coming out. I had a nice seal all the way out around the side. It ain't that pretty, but I'm not a pretty person. This baby, like it's like right here. Right here, right here-ish. Mmm. One Jamaican jerk chicken pot pie. Oh, there we have it. I obviously, I, I don't want to try it right now because I'm going to burn my mouth and then I'll have to let this sit, th sit and cool. Um, but the, let's try, oh my God, let's try at least let's try a little bit of the crust, okay? Make sure it's good. Look at, see it crumbles? That's from the cornmeal. Mmm. It's not flaky. Like a, um, it's not flaky like a typical truck and pot pie crust. 
It's crumbly because of that cornmeal, but I like it. I dig it uh, because I think it's going to go well. We're going to try the sauce like this. Whoa. That shit is killer. I, I can't wait for this to cool down for me to try it. I'm not going to try it on camera. I just don't get the time. Daddy's going to go out and make some money uh, because I'm not monetized on YouTube yet because I don't have that many followers or subscribers uh, or watch time. So the more that I get, the less of the rushing out of the house I got to go to do Uber. So uh, I'll have the chicken pot pie recipe uploaded tomorrow on my website along with the video. Um, I'm sorry, I should say, click the link in the description. It'll take you over to the recipe on my website, um, which I'm gonna start working on in come January. Come January, I have some like big things planned. I gotta focus more. I wanna fine tune my stuff, get a little bit more perfect, get my things a little bit more of a um, fine tune because I'm a perfectionist. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you like this recipe, um, even if you don't like this recipe, make sure you like the video, share it, tell your friends, you know, I have almost 3,000 friends on Facebook and only 51 subscribers to my channel. That hurts me deep down in here. Did you have a, a heart somewhere? <laughs> yeah, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next week. Uh, next week is, what's next week? I forgot what I have planned for next week. Let me look. Oh, okay. So next week I have a special treat for you. Uh, next week, I'm really not doing a tip video. I'm actually doing two recipe videos. Uh, next week is Hanukkah. Uh, I grew up in a heavily Jewish community. Uh, so a lot of my friends were Jewish. Um, so I, I have a fascination and a f appreciation of uh, Jewish uh, kosher food. So I'm really looking forward to that. Taco Tuesday is coming up. That's in two weeks. Uh, so Make sure you subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so you get the notifications. Um, and I appreciate you all. Y'all have a blessed one and enjoy your weekend.